And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Tonight, it's Hell's Kitchen's first ever fashion night. We've got I have to say one thing, and I need everyone, please, in their clothes now. With the models in last minute prep for the show. All right, let's get ready. The Red Kitchen is getting pumped up for service to begin. All right, ladies, let's look at that. And in the Blue Kitchen, despite the fact that no diners have entered and Chef Ramsay has yet to call an order, Clemenza mysteriously tries to get ahead by cooking one of Hell's Kitchen's most popular dishes in advance. Stop! Clemenza? Yes, Chef? What are you doing? Nothing gets sent until the first catwalk. You knew that, right? Yes, Chef. Did you know that? Yes, Chef. So why is he cooking the scallops? Clemenza, talk to me. I made a mistake, Chef. Won't happen again. Oh, I just start firing the scallops like an idiot, and people that knew staring at me. No one says a word. How many portions of scallops were wasted? Four. Now, Clement, come on. He needs to be in attention to what the is going on in that kitchen. OK, James, open the Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Yes, Chef. First time in Hell's Kitchen history, there will be three mini fashion shows during dinner service, featuring the designs of Ina Soltani, Amanda Shea, and David Meister. You look fabulous. After each show, the chefs must be ready to send out the next course to the invited VIP guests. To ensure that all the dishes get out as quickly as possible, Chef Ramsay has selected Royce on the blue team and Kimmy, come on. Kimmy on the red team. Let's go, let's go, let's go. To help plate food at the pass. Hey guys, remember really quick, there's models and there's swimsuit models. I've already ordered blinders. You know what my blinder is? Chef Ramsay. Ladies, on order. Four scallops, two lobster salads. Yes, yes, chef. The first part of the fashion show is about to begin. I'll give you the heads up. Two minutes from the end. And then we're flying. Get organized. Yes, yes, chef. I'm confident with the fish station. I'm ready for it. I don't want to get yelled at. I don't want to get kicked out. I want everything to be OK. That's all I want. While both teams prepare to start their appetizers, in the dining room, ladies and gentlemen, the ready to wear collection of Ina Sultani. Part one of the fashion show is beginning. Oh, models. Lots of them. It's going to be a pretty hot night in Hell's Kitchen. I hate those models. Like, I don't want them looking at us. I'm trying to work here. Is she hungry, that girl? We should feed her. They don't even eat. Why are they in a restaurant? I definitely could pick them up and probably, like, snap them in half with one hand. Just under two minutes to the window. Yes, chef. I should lose, like, 9,000 pounds and stop eating. I could be a fashion model. Yes, uh, look at me. Ladies and gentlemen, Ina Sultani. Thank you, ladies. Right, ladies. Yes, chef. Spotlights on us. Here we go. Yes, Overdrive. Chef. Wake up. Let's go. Six columns away. Yes, chef. We have only three appetizers. If we can't pull this off, then that's pretty lame -o. Use this pan or this pan, but make sure it's in the center. It's not hot enough. Look at the oil. All right, Barbie, I'm going to waste the order on. Just trying to help Tiff, OK? Tiffany just has no finesse. She doesn't pay attention. And even when you try to correct her, it pisses her off. Tiffany, they stick when the pan's not hot enough. Barbie, how come mine aren't sticky? Back. That was yours. I don't want help. I'm sick of listening to her. I don't care what she has to say. She sucks. She can't work in the line. I've just had it. Scallops, please. I got them right here. They're just squawking and bitching at each other. Leave it. Stop. Scallops, chef. Chef, these aren't. They're not good, Kimmy? No, they're not. They're not even got any color on the back of them. At Stop. All. Hey, all of you, come here a minute. Just come here, come here. What is that? There? Yeah, there. It's actually overcooked. Touch it. Touch it. What hurts more than anything? They've done this dish hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. I'm not an I told you so kind of person, but you know. Who cooked them? I don't know between you the two. You don't of us. know. You don't know who cooked those scallops. Please. Do you think I'm serving that? No, Trust chef. Trust me, you are dreaming. It's a joke now. It's a joke. It's not funny, yeah. chef. She and hate her. Six of you in the kitchen, and not one of you can study a scallop properly. Yes, chef. It's a bad day, ladies. All right, 
let's get these five on. While Tiffany takes control of the scallops, in the blue kitchen... Three lobster, two tuna, one scallop. Let's go. Justin and Roshni on appetizers and Clemenza on fish are ready with their first orders. Here we go. Here's the rest. Get these out. I'll drop you another one. Thank you. Service, please. Thank you. Things are coming out of the kitchen. We're communicating. We're kicking ass. You got it. Good. Thank you. It is clockwork. Three scallops, one lobster salad. Yes, yes chef. chef. After three scallops, one lobster. Four scallops, two lobster, two tuna. Yes, chef. Straight after that, four scallops. After that, I hope you're listening. I hope the f you're listening. Three lobster, two tuna, one scallop. After that, four scallops away. Let's go, Clemenza. There was 16 scallops? 16 scallops, yep. Come on, Clemenza. Yes, chef. Clemenza's getting cranked. He's got way too many scallops on order. This is going to be a nasty one. Give me the time. Flip that. While Clemenza prepares to cook a mountain of scallops, in the red kitchen, Tiffany... Walking out with six scallops, guys. I'm with you. ...is desperate to impress Chef Ramsay with her second attempt. Scallops, Chef! Nice. Looks amazing. Oh, yeah. That's right. I am the... With Tiffany's success on the scallops... Service, please. It's now up to close friends Christina and Dana... One, two, and a walking. ...on appetizers to keep up the momentum. What do you guys need over here? But somebody is looking to help out the duo. Do so I need to make more green beans and stuff? I'm bringing this up. Behind, no, come just in. Just give it to me. Just give it to me. Let me help. I'm trying to help Christina and Dina out. And they're like, we don't need any help. We don't need any help. Four lobster salads, yes? yes Hello? Walk in. Let me help. I trust you helping me. Trust me helping you. I'll hit it up for you. You can do that. Do you want? No, no, no. I got it. I'm looking at her like, seriously, I don't need your help right now. Please just back the f up. It's good. It's good. And it's mostly Christina. She has like this big ego thing where she doesn't want any help. Set it down. I got it. Well, one day you're going to need help, and no one's going to give it to you because you keep on pushing it in a way. I, I feel good rhythm. I think these guys more Dude, than well, let me go over there. Dude, I don't know what to tell you. While Robin is still looking for work, Christina and Dana manage to push out a steady stream of appetizers. Service, please. And 20 minutes into dinner service, all of the diners on the red side are thrilled with what they've received. Really good. Not what I was expected at all. Get ready for entrees, OK? Yes. yes. Now, the only thing standing in the way of the second part of the fashion show is a completed appetizer service, which means... Scallop in the window. Clemenza must deliver 16 orders of scallops. Overcooked and rubber. Start again. Clemenza, you're holding us up. I got six. I got six on the stove. There's only so much room on one side of the stove. Two scallops, how long? Two minutes. You got six scallops going. There's no other room to get out another two. Unless you want me to put two pans on my ass and start cooking back there, you're gonna have to wait. So how many? How many more? Clemenza, I can see it in his face already how frustrated he's getting. Can somebody help him with the scallops? And I know we're going down. You want me to sear some scallops on this side? Yes. Okay? I got two orders working here. We were just hoping that we would find out when the show okay. would be able yeah. to start. Hey, guys, you. hurry up. Come on. I've got to start the next show. Scallops, please. Coming up. Oh, we're Stop! All of you, come here. Look, now we've got an overcooked. Horribly done, grey rubber. Feel that. Feel it. It's cooked to. Who cooked them? I did. Guy, I'd rather you do it with control than try and rush them and create that mess. Oh my god. We're done. Clemenza! Clemenza! Scallops, please! Everyone in line We're now. We're not stopping. I'm running out of time! minutes into dinner service on the first ever Hell's Kitchen fashion night. If somebody tries to get you to change your shoes, hit them. The red team has finished all their appetizers. All right, guys, way to push through, man. But the second part of the fashion show can't start. Let's get it on. Until the blue team completes their first course. That's overcooked. Start again. Guy just fumbled on the scallops, and I'm watching Clemenza go down like a body in the East River. Get that scallop perfectly, guy. Come on, brother. That's scallops. I mean, it's scallops. Scallops, how long? Two minutes. Three minutes. Three, three minutes. Three minutes, chef. Yeah. Royce, get out there and tell them we need an extra five minutes. Hurry up. Yes, yeah, chef. Excuse me? I found a room full of models. And I walked in, and as soon as I saw the first model, I was like, Yes. 
We need an extra five minutes. But she's wilting. Love it if you could get it together real yes, quick. Yes, thank you very much. All right, I'll let thanks. Her in there. Okay. I relayed my message and got the f out of there. I'm worrying about a perfect service. I'm worrying about winning this $250,000. And then if I could take a model on a hot date, baby. Oh. Got a 40 second chef. Come on, Clemenza. We got four. Right now, we got three following. It's a mess. There's no way that I'm gonna sit there and let him go down. No way. I am jumping on. Here we go. Scholars, please. How long? Is it good? Right go. Walk in with three. Right behind you. Service. With a major assist from Brian, Clemenza's scallops are now worthy of being served to the VIP guests. Go, please. A disaster has been averted as the men deliver all their appetizers. Really good. These scallops are out of this world. James, please. Sorry about the delay. Let's do the second half, please. Yes, chef. Come here, quick. Listen. That timing was dreadful. Really dreadful. Now we've got a second show. I'm going to fire these entrees. So when that last model walks off that catwalk, our food is leaving. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. What's your first six tables? Four beef and two swordfish. That's six tables. Yes, yes chef. chef. What's your first three tables? Our first three tables are swordfish, pigeon. How many? Uh, Come on, Bobby. Uh, we have five swordfish to start. Robin, what's going? Four beef and two pigeons. Thank you. It's four beef and two squad, bitch. Get it right, Miss Know It All. I told you, focus. Something about this girl Barbie makes my skin crawl. And those glasses, they're like fake glasses. Wake up, guys. Yes, chef. Lock it in tight together, yes? Yes, yes, yes chef. Let's go run the dishes through your mind. Chef, we're going to redeem ourselves. You're going to what? Redeem ourselves, chef. Screwed up in the first part, so let's get our together and let's get it back in the second part. The swimwear designs of Amanda Shea. Hey, baby. Oh, oh, my ass. Holy oh, That is sexy. How the am I supposed to cook with that going on? That's what we're gonna deal with? Let's up. Don't look. Oh, look, guy. So there is a few boobies and stuff like that running around. But see those models, but they're not going to distract me. I'm focused. Get those beef in the pan and get them seared. My head is in the steaks. Nicola. Guy, focus. Guy. Guy! Hands on fire. Charring now. Look at what the we're doing here. It's a fillet steak. Hardly any fat, so it needs searing beautifully, but with control. All Guy had to do was sear off the beef and then finish in the oven and let him rest. So it seems very simple and basic, yet he was having a hard time doing that. He tuned out. Show's almost over. Can we get a grip? Wake up, Yuya. Yes, yes! While the blue team tries to focus on the task at hand, in the dining room, the last few swimsuit models hit the runway. Stand by, ladies, yeah? And Chef Ramsay is counting on both kitchens to have entrees ready as soon as this part of the show is over. Three minutes to the window. Three, three minutes to the window, Chef. Let's go. No way I'm going to be three minutes to the window. There is a lot of filet on order. She's got to cook all that she has, and we better hope that they come out perfect because there's no extra. Just over one minute to the window. They're not done yet. Let's go. Beef, 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 beef. The beef's not ready. He's going to yell at me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm about to get my ass handed to me on beef. Keep him in there as long as possible. 30 seconds to the window. Yes, chef, slice it. Slice it and pray that it's cooked. Beef, please. Beef. Beef. Come on, please. Robin. Yes, chef. That's perfectly cooked, the beef. Thank you, chef. Ooh, that's right, son. <laughs> the women deliver the first table of entrees. This is delicious. This is really good. In the blue kitchen. Away now. Three beef, six swordfish. Royce, double check me, my old man, my sword. 17 on the sword. 30 seconds, chef! Clemenza on fish and Guy on meat. I'm ready to go as soon as you tell me. Appear to be in sync on the first entrees. You ready? Yes, yes, yes. I got this. I'm focused. I'm just right in the zone. Fish is my thing. Clemenza, it's his dish. The pride and joy of Staten Island, so there should be no issue on the fish side. Swordfish. Fish right now. Right, right now. now, here. 
go. Chef, this is hot. Yeah, I hope it's hot. It's the kitchen, you donut. Oh, guys. Hey. What's this? Hey. What, what is that? Rubber, overcooked. One more swordfish. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. This is Clemenza's dish on the menu, and it's hard for him to execute this dish. I got it, I got it. He's just screwing up really bad today. I'm dying for a swordfish. One swordfish right here. Can you, can you play for the pass, please? Anybody, somebody. You know, Clemenza's like a lost cat sometimes. He just doop doo 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 doo. Like, I don't get it. Right here, right here. I got it. Hot. Go, hot. go, go. I get frazzled. Everybody gets frazzled. But you know what? I got it. Service, please. Let's go. With Clemenza redeeming himself on the swordfish, the first order of blue entrees goes out to the dining room. Oh, that's really good. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay is relying on Robin. Away now, Robin. Two beef, two pigeon. Yes, Chef. Two beef, two pigeon. To keep up the good work on the meat station. My beef's over. The over. The over. That's well done. Could someone go ask if the men have any more meat? How many do you need? I need some, two more beef, guys. I'm scared. I don't know. I was like, I don't want to go over there. I'm scared. I'm scared of chef. Hold on. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. No beef? I can't get over there. I want to heal. Someone go get me a beef, please. No. I'm not going over to the blue kitchen and get my ass reamed. So all these girls in my team talk up the talk, but they don't back it up. Get your finger out of your and stop being scared. Christina, I need more beef. All right, all right start go, go, go. it. Two? Two. Two. Have two, two. You are so going to notice a red jacket in the blue kitchen. It's not even funny. I need my old guy on the sword. Three beef. Three beef. All right, got it. Three beef. I was looking, and I'm looking, and I started to go in. Let's go. And then here comes Chef Ramsay. I was like, oh, this. I can't stop their service to get these beef. There's no way. I have overcooked beef, guys. I asked. What? They won't answer me. I can't serve this beef. You better say something. Away now, Robin. Two beef, two pigeon. Yes, Chef. Two beef, two pigeon. Robin was like all over the place. He misses nothing. Beef, how long? How long? How long, Robin? It's fashion night in Hell's Kitchen, and the models are ready for the last catwalk. I need everyone lined up right now. But Chef Ramsay won't allow the show to go on until the last entrees have been served. Away now, Robin. Two beef, two pigeon. Unfortunately, Robin, who started out so well on meat... My beef's overcooked. Could someone go ask if the men have any more meat? ...finds herself in a major predicament. I can't serve this beef. You better say something. Beef, how long? Hello, Robin! Chef, I have an overcooked beef. What? So have you got any more beef left? No, that's it. So any ideas? I would like to get another beef from the gentleman so I could do it real quick. Let me tell you something. We just don't go to the blue kitchen and get what you want. It's a competition, you silly cow. Okay, yes, that's chef. That's the last time I'm telling you all. Got it? Yes, chef. I am so glad I didn't get some fillets from the blue kitchen. I didn't get in trouble. <laughs> Get in the dining room, get hold of James urgently, and tell him you're f***ed up. Hurry up! OK, just shut up. I guess I'm going to walk my happy ass up to table 64 and tell him, I'm sorry, ma'am, we don't have your beef. Would you like a swordfish or a pigeon instead? Yes. Pigeon. Pigeon? OK. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So they're going to do a pigeon, sir. They were asking about let's it. Let's go. Let's go. Three pigeon away. Yes, yes chef. chef. While Robin gets back to work. Let's go. Chef Ramsay now turns his attention to Tiffany on the fish station. Swordfish. Swordfish is Tiff, are you under control? Or, um, watch these while I start the I'm other stuff. OK, perfect. Just make sure they have nice marks. I got you. That's all of them. Throw them up there when you're done. Got it. Christina goes over to help Tiffany with her swordfish. It's Tiffany's station. Give me four to start with, and then put the rest on the pan right here. They'll you sit there it. until we're ready. It's all strategy. She's letting everybody do the work and they're taking a the fall. All right, let's give it one more turn and then out with it. While Tiffany does more supervising than cooking, in the blue kitchen... Away now, three beef, how long? How long for the garnish for the beef? Garnish is ready, cutting beef. All eyes are on Guy on the meat station, who has an opportunity to shine. Beef. Three beef to the pass. Off, Royce. Royce, leave me alone. All of 
you. Come here. Come here. The beast's cold. Look, just touch it at the back. Put your hand on there. It's not even hot. It's not cold. It's warm. Come on, get it in the oven. We're making rookie mistakes at this point. If you have hands with nerve endings, it's very easy to tell that things are cold. Can I have the beef hot? Can I? Yes, sir. Yes, very kind of you. While Guy tries to recover quickly on meat, in the red kitchen, just give me four. Yeah. Tiffany Swordfish, cooked by her helper Christina, behind, is ready for Chef Ramsay's approval. Oh, f hell. all of you, come here. Just touch that. Touch it. it touch it. Cold. Okay, I have an extra one. You have one extra right here, Chef. Christina grilled it, but then it's been sitting there. Tiffany just brings it up to the pass. Well, it's cold. Who cooked that? Tiffany's like, crickets. I grilled it and put it on the resting tray. You grilled it. Who's in charge of the fish? Tiffany's like, wasn't me. It's your station. Even if Christina cooked the swordfish, it's Tiffany's responsibility. She shouldn't have sent a cold swordfish up there anyway. She cooked it. I've been bringing it up. Oh, my gosh. I'm not sending anything out of your station until you say OK. So you're responsible for your own station. What is this? Tiffany does not want to take blame for anything that's her fault. Swordfish! Swordfish coming right now, Chef. She'll throw anybody under the bus when she can. Here you are, Chef. And it's ugly. It's fugly. That's the last one right there. Three pitching. How long? Got him right here, Chef. Finally. The red team has successfully delivered the last of their entrees to the pass. So I need one swordfish here. Finish that. It's now up to Kimmy, the designated plater, to make sure that the dishes are ready to head to the dining room. Sorry. That's why the hand goes underneath. Sorry. It's getting hectic. We're getting down to the wire. So I'm nervous as Come on, Kimmy. Let's go speed up a bit, Kimmy. Let's go. Let's go, Kimmy. Hurry up. I'm going as fast as I can, dude. Work those fingers, let's go. Yes, Chef. Time is of the essence. Come on, Camille. It takes very graceful hands, but you have to be fast. If you're not fast, then you're <laughs> That's intense up here. Kimmy. Uh, nice. It looks lovely. Yeah. Service, please. With entrees completed in the red kitchen. Go clear down. Yes, yes chef. chef. There are only two things standing in the way of the final part of the fashion show. Where are we at? Going through the pass right now. Guys, hot beef. Where's the beef? It's hot, shit. I hope it's <laughs> hot. Yeah. Service, please. And Royce's ability. Come on, Royce. You're so awkward. As a master plater. Knowing that I can plate very well and I do plate up very beautiful dishes, it is really <laughs> intimidating. With Chef Ramsay right next to me the whole entire time. Don't start panicking, Royce. No. I am not panicking. Not with that. How the oh. Sorry, hey, come here, you. Come here. Come here, you. I am not panicking. You're wiping plates with that. You're wiping plates in front of our VIP guests. And there's these clean cloths here. Sorry, and chef. And look, I didn't that's the Get on the set table. Sit down. I need to Sorry. Off. Get out. How dare you? I made one mistake, and it was a big mistake. And, uh, you know, I won't make it ever again. And it just brought me to another level. Are you ready now, or are yes, you going to sit there like a Idiot. Sorry, Chef. You clean a plate like that one more time yes, with a dirty rag. Hey, hey, big boy. See that door out there? Yes, Chef. Hey, I'll boot you out there. Sorry, I swear to God, I'll push you through that door. Sorry, Chef. Service, please. Go. Now, with the entrees complete. Stoves off. Let's go. It's showtime once again. Ladies and gentlemen, the evening wear of David Meister. Job tonight, ladies. Of course, we're happy that we completed service with all of our team members still in the kitchen. It doesn't really erase the tension or the kind of divide that's on our team, but to me, as long as we're getting it done in the kitchen for service, I don't really give a f what happens outside of those doors. Ladies and gentlemen, David Meister. Stones off. My station put out half the dining room. I give myself credit. At this moment, yeah, I am a little proud of myself. I'm feeling good. There ain't no stopping me. What's all that? Me. Hey, stop. Stop. All of you. All of you. Man, now what? Who cooked this? Clemenza. Come here, you. What the have you done? 
No, 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 no. Oh my god. The first ever Hell's Kitchen fashion night was a success. But despite the fact that dinner service is over, What's all that? Chef Ramsay has something important to clear up between Clemenza and Royce. Royce! Come here, you. Yes, yeah, Chef. It's right up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Why have you cooked so much? No idea, Chef. Clemenza. I called for you all day. It was 18, and I did four more. There's not four more. There's 11 more. You told him 18. No, I told him, I told you 16 plus one. OK, 17. I said, what the is 16 plus one? You call 17, you There were 16 orders plus one. That was everything all day. But we don't need all these. I was told 18, chef. I owned up to what the I did. He's with the hummer and high air, and he wants to talk around in circles. Like, what the the matter with your brain? This was 18. This I was 18. Exactly this may be 18. So what are we going to do with them? It's another go waste. On. It's another waste, Chef. Go on, here we go. You love that bit, don't you? No. I tell you what, you hold it up, you put them in. Oh my god. Hell's Kitchen's first ever fashion night wasn't perfect. It was careless at times. However, one team definitely had the edge. The winning team tonight. Congratulations. Red team. Yay! You completed your apps 10 minutes in front of the blue team. Clemenza, our guests hadn't even sat down and you were firing scallops. Even worse, that your team were watching you. Royce, I wish you saw Kimmy the way she worked. Brilliant. Nailed it. Blue team, come up with two names ready to leave Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Off with you. Ladies, good job. Thank you, Chef. Kimmy, nice. Me and Robin are totally cool. Earlier in the day, she disrespected me, but I love the girl to death. I know she's proud of me. I mean, friends fight. I felt like we did a decent job at service. You know, we kept bouncing back, but I guess the girls just did better than us tonight. I'm uh, feeling really good right now. We don't have to deal with eliminations. <laughs> Is there an ice cream? <laughs> Probably in that drawer. Can we all take a deep breath and say, <laughs> yeah, no elimination tonight? Yeah. Do a little chicken dance. All right. Who wants to start? My first nominee is, is going to be for Clemenza. No. No. No way, no. Some issues with the scallops. Clemenza, you're holding us up. I got six. I got six on the stove. Guys, hurry up. Come on. I've got to start the next show. There's, there's only so many scallops I can literally physically do at a time. I'm the easy target, but I got half the dinner service on my shoulder. I could say, obviously, Clemenza. Let's just say I would have put him in the corner in kindergarten for coloring outside the box. I got to say Clemenza. Brian, your nomination. Clemenza. That's it. That's how it works. I gave him a little spank. It's already a majority. It's already a majority, so... I don't think I'm the worst chef on the blue team. I pulled my weight and then some on the team. Second nominee. Man, I don't know. It's so difficult, man. It's a very, very difficult second pick. While the blue team digs in to find a second nominee, one member of the red team has a bone to pick with her teammate. Chris. Yo. I want to ask you a question private. Because it only regards to you and myself. No, it only regards to you and myself, and no one else needs to hear it. OK. I don't know what Robin's deal is right now. We won dinner service, and she's still starting She just can't help herself. I was trying to ask you guys to help. I knew you guys had it, but I didn't want to stand there. I had a problem with Christina during dinner service. She wouldn't let me help her out. I'll heat it up for you. You could do that. Do you want? No, no, no. I got it. Do you want yes. me to help over there? No, no, no. Dude, I don't know what to tell you. What it was is like, 
at that point, that's when we were like in the thick of it. It wasn't like, oh, I don't want your help. Like, you, I got this. It was like, dude, I'm in a rhythm. Like, I right. need to just run but with that's it. That's how I felt. It was definitely All nothing right. personal. No. I noticed it like twice already. A Robin definitely tends to take things to heart, take things a little bit personally. So I'm definitely over the drama. Uh, I just don't need it. No, it was nothing. It wasn't anything like that. I just, I was All in right. my rhythm and. Christina, there's no I in team. Next time, have fun trying to get through servers by yourself. Who's his second? I'm gonna I'm gonna say guy. You know how beef is. Yeah, could be Trixie on. Guy, I'm just gonna put my vote for you. I see where the wind is turning. I have to try to do something to help me not go up there. I'll go and I'll tell you. You wanna go? It's Brian. You right there next to Clemenza. You're supposed to help him. Honestly, the garnish station should have had the hot pants on and searing scallops with Clemenza. Hold on one second, all right? All right, I'm helping Clemenza the entire time. You nominate me? Really? I helped out as best as I could. I'm pissed. Without my help, we would have been After losing dinner service, the blue team has nominated Clemenza. Obviously Clemenza. It's already a majority. As for the second nominee, Guy was a popular choice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Guy. You know how beef is. Could be tricks on. But he wisely turned the attention to someone else. It's Brian. I helped out as best as I could. Right. I did what my chef told me to. Do. Does anybody else want to go? Here's my thing, and I'll say this. Come on, so what do you got? I'm obviously going to nominate myself, although I'm already the choice candidate. I don't want to say you, but I am for one reason and one reason only. Yes, you helped everybody else, but as the leader, as my station's getting hit, that's where you should have been for that moment. I'm irritated with Clemenza. I ran around like crazy trying to, you know, give the support and I thought I was being very vocal, so I think that's Maybe I didn't see it. I know you're giving me that look. Maybe I you see me, get someone else going on scalp. Get someone else trying to help me. But that's not the other issue, too. The other issue is like, you want to nominate me? I get it. You want to do that? That's fine. Clemenza's got a point. Patrick is not leading the blue team. I don't like a team leader that don't know how to lead. You can give me the look of annoyance all day long, it's not a personal thing. Come, come on, are you nominating me? Yeah. All we got is Rosh left. I can't decide my second nomination yet. It's a huge decision, it's a tough decision. Rosh. Uh, um. Rosh, we need one. Come on. Oh my god, you guys are not, killing not me. What the f Place of vote. It's not supposed to be easy, it's supposed to be difficult. But you have to be decisive. You have to. You have to make a decision and go with it. That's it. Roach, 10 seconds. Me. Did you have a good discussion? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. Roshni. Chef. First nominee. The blue team decided the first nominee would be Clemenza. Why? Based on his uh, performance today with uh, the fish station that had the main hiccups of tonight's service. Second nominee. Second nominee. It was very difficult for us, Chef. Really? Some of the members of the team felt that it should be Brian. Because he was next to fish, he should have been able to help Clemenza out. Brian. Yes, Chef. Chef, brothers voted for Guy. Guy. Yes, Chef. So? Uh, Come on then, who is it? Uh, Although both teams completed dinner service tonight, the red team earned higher marks, and the blue team is left to deliver two nominees to Chef Ramsay for elimination. They have already selected... Clemenza. Second nominee and why? Uh... 
Come on then, who is it? Just based on what held service back twice, the second nominee is Guy. Okay, let's go. Clemenza Guy, step forward please. Chef. Guy. Yes, Chef. Here you are, standing in front of me, twice in a row. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I, I, I'm not done. I'm the least experienced one here, but I, I fight every day. I have enough fight for, for five people. Are you a better chef than Clemenza? Clemenza can cook, but I'm a better chef, yes, chef. Clemenza, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think I, I've been an asset to this team since the beginning. I, I've won some challenges. I was, my dish got on the menu tonight. Justin. Yes, chef. Who should be going home tonight? I would have to say Clemenza, chef. Royce, same question. You know, chef Clemenza. Chef, I've always played 100%. And I, even tonight, I felt like I played 100%. Patrick. Who should be going home tonight? I'm going to say Clemenza. Clemenza. Roshni. Clemenza, chef. Clemenza. Yes, yeah, chef. Brian. Clemenza, chef. Chef, I've chased animals, I've dug trees, I gave it my all every single time that I've been in that kitchen. I've played 100%, and I have not once, not once, have ever have I stopped and let my guard down once. I've tried to help everybody and do everything and be every way that I possibly can be, and I've always played 100%. And everybody's trying to get rid of me. But you know what? I still put out better food than everybody standing there. Clemenza, I want you to listen to me carefully. You've done well. You had a bad night. Are you done? I'm not even close to done, Chef. I'm ready. I'll go put out another dinner service right now if you need. Wow. Based on everything I've seen, witnessed, my decision is... Clemenza. Back in line. Yes! Ugh. Guy, your time is up, buddy. Give me your jacket, please. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you for your hard work. I never thought that I'd be eliminated this early in the game. Chef Ramsey definitely made the wrong decision. I stand behind everything that I did, and I stand behind every dish that I put out there. I thought he would respect that. Apparently, he doesn't. Clemenza. Yes, Chef. You have passion. Use it. Yes, Chef. Piss off. Clemenza? He has more heart than anyone on that team. Clemenza definitely needs to look after himself and protect himself. No one else is going to. Clemenza's got the biggest passion in the world, but at the end of the day, it takes organization, skill, and finesse, not just passion. I found out who my friends are, and obviously it's no one. I got more love from the red team tonight. Go figure. That's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. I'll smile on your face as I'm taking the knife out of your back. Guy's performance in Hell's Kitchen was extremely inconsistent. And that is why I know he is not the guy to run Gordon Ramsay's stage.